This sound slide presentation is sponsored by the Aurora Cooperative, wishing the best of luck to the cross country runners and all the fall sports teams. A crowd estimated at more than 1,000 people converged on Poco Creek Golf Course Friday afternoon for what has become a very competitive cross country competition. The Aurora Invite features some of the top runners in the state, which was reflected in the winning times. Aurora had four medalists, including freshman Jonna Bart, who placed fifth with a time of 20 minutes flat, and freshman Haley Dixon, who was 17th in 2138. In the boys' race, senior Ryan Hackett placed eighth in 1723, and sophomore Ethan Bergman was 10th in 1736. Several other Huskies just missed the medal cut. Winning the girls' race was Megan Billington of Grand Island Northwest with a time of 18.57, and Hans Epp of Nebraska Christian won the boys' race in 16.18. Seward won both the girls' and boys' team titles. We're talking with Coach Ron Hayden after the Aurora Invite. Uh, Coach, just a huge meet for starters, a very competitive meet. Your thoughts? We had a huge field this year. We added two more teams to the mixed uh, Northwest uh, came and also Nebraska Christian, which were two very good teams. Uh, Northwest girls are, are in the top ten teams, and Nebraska Christian are the defending Class D state champions. Um, Hans Zapp is a great runner. He ran 16-18 on our course, which was was a great time. Um, had over, I think it was about 415 kids, middle school and high school, run on the course. So it was a great crowd. It was great weather. We finally had some cool weather and, and some sunshine without me and having blistering heat out there. Okay, and talk about the Huskies. Had a few medal winners. We had two medalists uh, in the boys' um, Ryan Hackett was 8th, and Ethan Bergman was 10th. But we were really proud of our other young kids. Uh, Bryce Reichart was 10th, or 24th, and he's a sophomore. Trevor Albert was 25th and is a sophomore. Zach McDonald was 29th and is a sophomore. Uh, and our 6th person was Jorge Chavez, which, who is a 9th grader, that was in the top 34. So we were pretty pleased we had 6 guys right up there in the, in the top group. Great. And on the girls' side? Girls side, uh, John Bart again had a great week for a little freshman. She's just learning these courses now and running with some very good runners. Megan Billiken is, is a very quality runner. She's won the last two races. She's won. Um, and then the Seward girls are, of course, the defending state champions. They were right out there, and John ended up finishing fifth today and was the top freshman. Uh, another one was Haley Dixon, was finished 17th, was a medalist, and she's a, a freshman. And then our third runner was... Um, Taylor May, who's a freshman that finished 27th, and Anna Helzer was right behind her at 28th, who, who is a sophomore. Well, you've got to feel good uh, on both sides have a lot of youth coming uh, into the program. Yeah, our, our kids are really working hard. We had a great week of practice. Uh, they're learning how to run the races. This is a whole new uh, field for the girls since the girls are running 5,000 meters now. So you're tacking on an extra 1,000 meters to their the race that they ran last year. And right now they're running great. Okay, well, good job uh, at this meet, and good luck the rest of the way. Okay, thank you. For exclusive Husky coverage all season long, log on to auroranewsregister.com.